Hello everyone. Welcome to this talk. I'm Wiem Zin Labidin, a software engineer at Life Intent. First of all, I would like to thank the organizers and the sponsors for making the Scala 3 release party happen and for this opportunity. I'm excited to talk to you today about my take in Scala 3. In this presentation, I will go through some features in Scala 3 that improve the way how we use and define functions and type lambdas. Let's start with a simple lambda expression. This is how we define a lambda expression. We assign it to a value and we call this a function. This type and this syntax is a shorthand for function one because it has only one argument. And also if we have any function with n arguments, it will be translated to function n. So identity is like an object. This is why in Scala, we treat functions as values. We can pass them through different functions. We even can create a list with elements of type functions. Functions are different to methods. This is how we define methods with def, and we cannot use them as values. For example, when we want to create a list of identity method in Scala 2, we are going to get this error, and it asks us to convert this method to function to make this possible. There is a mechanism called eta expansion. In Scala 2, we need to do this manually. We add the syntax with underscore, and this will convert this method into a function. In Scala 3, the eta expansion has been improved. When we call list identity method, it will automatically convert it to function. And the syntax with underscore, underscore is deprecated. We should consider that a method with an empty argument list will not automatically be converted to a function. So we need explicitly to do this. But also this is an improvement in Scala 3 that we are able to automatically convert our methods into functions and we treat them as values, which is great. Now, let's see how we can define typed lambda expressions. In Scala 2, we have generic methods, but we cannot define functions. In Scala 3, there is a new type called poly function that allows us to use this syntax to define polymorphic function. We specify here the type parameters. Cool. Now, the things that we can do using methods, we can do them using functions in Scala 3. How about the methods with implicit arguments? We can do that too. In Scala 3, there is a feature called context function. We can define a context function this way, which means here, this question mark arrow means that this function requires an implicit value of type A and returns a B. So let's take an example to understand this. I will stop sharing my screen and share the console. Nice. Now let's take a simple example of a method that takes an implicit argument. Let's just say uh, add method. We add uh, two integers, but one of them is, is implicit. And yeah, and this is a chance uh, or an opportunity to uh, use the new implicit syntax in uh, Scala 3. Instead of implicit, we can use using. We can also remove the name of uh, this int. And in case if we want to get out the value of this int, we can call sum on of int, which is the same as implicitly uh, before. 
Cool. Now this is our method. Let's turn this method to a function using uh, the new syntax. Add function. It has int, the A, and the B, but it is a context function and returns int. This, this syntax replaces using int int here. Cool. And here the input is A, and then we do the same int. And that's it. And when if you want to call add function, we, uh, for example, like this, uh, there is no implicit um, uh, int. We need to give an implicit int. And in Scala 3, we uh, can call given int. And for example, let's say the B value would be 14. And then we call again add function and it will use this implicit value. Sounds cool, right? Nice. Let's go back to the presentation. We saw some existing features in Scala 2 has been improved in Scala 3 and also new features in Scala 3 that makes us able to use functions the same way as methods. There is consistency between them. Cool, now we are ready to cover type lambdas. To explain this part, let's see different kinds of type and write their equivalent expression. For a proper type like int, it is equivalent to a simple value. For type constructor like list of A that has one type parameter is equivalent to a function that has one argument. We can write this using type lambdas in Scala 3 this way and put the generic type in a square bracket and use this arrow. We can still do this and this reminds us to the polymorphic functions, right? It is quite similar and this, it is like a generic method. It just for me, maybe I um, try to remember the new syntax this way. I do um, I, because I, I see consistency between simple expressions and type lambdas. For type constructor either that takes two type parameter is like a function that has two arguments. And here, how we can define it using type lambdas. For higher kind of type, a trait container that takes a type constructor with one type parameter f, for example, is equivalent to a higher order function. We can write this using type lambda this way or this way. We need to, uh, to specify the f because it is also generic type. And we, uh, it is clear here that this is a lambda that with one uh, argument. And also, we can still do this. We can define a container of type list because list has the same kind as the type parameter of container. But we cannot have a container of either because either has two type parameters and we need to reduce the type parameters. In functions, we can reduce the, uh, the number of arguments by partially applying the function. In type level, in Scala 2, we can use type projection. And here is an anonymous trait, and we can use this syntax to make it more readable. We can have a trait that has this type and use it this way, but it's still not easy to understand. This is why. There is a kind projector plugin that provides a simpler syntax. In Scala 3, we can get this for free by using type lambdas. So now with all of this, we can have a container of either by partially apply this uh, either with the A. 
this is an anonymous type lambda, so we can separately define uh, the, this either in case if we want to use it. And this is interesting. It reminds me of the Cariot function. And if we want to define a simple value of type either, we even can use this type, which is new, right? And this shows that the type lambdas are very similar to functions. And type lambdas in Scala 3 makes our code more easier and readable. Before I finish this presentation, I would like to ask Martin Odarski about polymorphic function type in Scala 3. It is, uh, I like this magical feature. It sounded similar uh, as uh, some syntax, and I wonder if there is a plan to enable Sam to trade that has a polymorphic functions, either this way or this way. Thank you all for your attention, and you can follow me on Twitter if you have any question or feedback. Bye.